Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. In this video we'll take a look at connecting a workstation to a Small Business Server 2008 network. If you're planning to install, migrate and maintain Windows SharePoint, then we recommend you take a look at our SharePoint Operations Guide. More information can be found at www.wssops.com. Let us firstly have a look at the Small Business Server console on the SBS server. Um, as you can see, I've brought up the console and if I have a look under the User and Groups tab, you'll find that I've already created um, one user on this network. So what I need to do is go now to the Network tab. You'll also see that I have created already a single workstation, but what I want to do is create another one that I can connect. So over here on the right hand side you'll see an option under the computer task called connect computer to, to network. So I click on this to give me more information about what is required to connect a workstation up to my small business server 2008 machine. After pressing this, you'll see the following window appear. This indicates that before connecting computers to the network, I need to create a user account for each person on the network, uh, which I've already done. I've got a single user. And you note that any computer joined to the SPS domain will be subject to configuration changes. So I'm happy with that, and I click the Next button to continue. I'm now given the option as to how I want to connect the computer. I have two methods that are available. I can access the connection program through a web browser by going to http colon forward slash forward slash connect um, in the browser on the workstation or I can actually copy a program to a USB key and then run it on that workstation. But I'm going to select the top option and basically then what happens, I'm given instructions that I need to um, open a web browser on my client computer and basically type the following address into the browser to commence the connection process. So let's move across to the workstation and actually run that. So here I am on my workstation. I will launch the browser and into the browser address I will type the required address which was http colon forward slash forward slash connect And this machine is a Windows XP Service Pack 2. Uh, as you can see, what's going to happen is, is that it's going to request that I have at least the .NET Framework version 2 installed. And I can't continue with the installation until I have installed this software. So what I need to do now is to go out and install that software and then come back and run the connection page again. Once I've installed the software and rebooted my machine, I return and run the browser. Once again, I type in the site http colon forward slash forward slash connect to bring up the small business server connection page. You'll now see that I'm given the option to start the connect computer program, so I simply click on that to commence the installation process. I'll then be asked to run a program that has been downloaded from the server, so I click on Run to commence the program execution. I click on Run once again to start the software installing. You'll see that the commencement of the installation is taking place by copying some of the files across from the server onto my workstation.
the next step is to choose whether I'm planning to set this computer up for myself or for others. At this stage I'm going to set it up for myself so I select the, the top option and it will then start verifying the requirements of the machine. If everything is correct then I will receive the green tick. I can press the next button to continue. I have to select my login name and password when I log into this machine. Once I've done that I select the next button to continue. I now need to choose a unique name for this machine on my network. So in this case I'll choose CIA XYZ and as you can see I can also put in a description of the computer. Uh, once I've completed that I simply hit the next button to continue the process. Since this was a machine that already had a profile on it I can choose if I want to make this profile available to the login that I'm selecting to configure for this workstation but in this case I'm just going to leave it as none. Now that my settings have been complete I can make any changes by hitting the back button but I will hit the next button to complete the process and I will be prompted to restart my workstation. Down the bottom here you note that I can tick the option to automatically log back in. This is not a recommended setting but in this case I will select that to speed up the process. When you're ready hit the restart button to reboot the workstation ready for connection to the SBS server. see once the uh, workstation has rebooted and logged back in um, and the processes are complete I'm presented with a window that indicates that the connection to the server is complete. I simply select the finish button and my machine will continue to complete the login process. When the workstation is finished logging in you can see that it has now been joined to my SBS 2008 domain and I can do things like browse the small business server company web as well as access any files on the file server. If I now return to the console on my small business server you'll notice that the workstation that I've just added doesn't appear as yet so if I go down here on the right and select the refresh the view option my recently added workstation should now appear in the list of client computers and it does as you can see it's currently online it has some critical issues around security I can now if I want to work on this workstation from the server by selecting it and noticing the tasks that appear on the right hand side and I can also right mouse click on the actual computer and a menu will appear that allows me to work on this workstation as well I'd like to thank you for watching the video and ask that if you found this video to be helpful to make a donation via donation.ciaops.net.au Also, please don't hesitate to send me feedback at director at ciaops.com or keep in touch via my blog supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog Thank you very much for watching.